before we see what are number bonds let's look at this rectangle here let's think that there are these small 10 squares you can actually uh, make these small squares using a cardboard paper and these squares are put together to make a rectangle so there are 10 such pieces you can see that there are two squares in every row and there are five rows so let's do this match the following exercise our goal is to come up with a big rectangle like the purple rectangle that you see on the right hand side what we want to do is we want to match the shapes in the first row with the shapes in the second row such that together they make this big rectangle the first one has five squares five pieces so i need to match it with another shape which has five pieces to make a 10 piece rectangle the second one has two squares so it matches with the eight squares below it the next one has just one piece so it matches with the nine piece shape the next one has six pieces so this matches with the four piece shape so that together it makes this 10 piece rectangle the last one has seven pieces so it matches with the three piece shape so if you put these things together if you put the matching shapes together it will look like this and every pair would make a proper 10 piece rectangle so could you do this fast enough what we saw here are called as number bonds for 10 so you can see that 8 plus 2 are 10 7 plus 3 are 10 5 plus 5 are 10 so these are all number bonds for 10 what does a number bond mean a number bond means when you can instantly almost automatically add two numbers or subtract two numbers without having to calculate or without counting it on your fingers or without working it out then it is said that you know the number bond that means the moment i say six and four you instantly set 10 without actually counting it if you could match these shapes fast enough that means you know the number bonds for 10 if you couldn't then i would say that you take a cardboard paper make these shapes and play around you know keep playing with it until you get comfortable the number bonds we saw were number bonds for 10 what are the other number bonds some of the other number bonds are 5 plus 2 equals 7 now how do i know 5 plus 2 equals 7 5 plus 1 equals 6 that means 5 plus 2 must be 7 again i'm doing this calculation here i'm calculating why 5 plus 2 equals 7 if i know my number bonds well i won't have to calculate the moment you say 5 and 2 i'll automatically say 7 6 plus 7 equals 13 why because 6 twos are 12 and we want to do 6 plus 7 so add one more so it becomes 13 similarly 8 plus 9 8 twos are 16 so 8 plus 9 must be 17 again i'm calculating here but if i practice enough i won't have to calculate the moment i think of 8 and 9 i'll automatically instantly say 17. so make it fun you know you practice it enough uh, you can make cardboard pieces play around and then you will be able to do all these number bonds for small numbers for single digit numbers once you're comfortable with the number bonds for single digit numbers then in the next video we are going to see how to do mental addition and subtraction for bigger numbers how to do it fast